Have you ever wondered what edge computing is? Well, let's unravel this tech jargon together. Picture the vast digital landscape as a vast universe. Now, the edge refers to the boundary, the frontier, the outermost limit of this digital cosmos. But what's happening at this edge? Here's where edge computing comes into play. It's a paradigm that brings computation and data storage closer to the location where it's needed to improve response times and save bandwidth. It's like having your own personal assistant right at your doorstep, ready to carry out tasks swiftly instead of having to relay your requests to a distant headquarters. This concept is causing quite a stir, revolutionizing the way we process data and transforming the tech world as we know it. And trust me, this is just the tip of the iceberg, so buckle up as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of edge computing. Firstly, let's get down to the basics of edge computing. Imagine you're in a bustling city with traffic lights that need to respond in real time. Now imagine if every single traffic signal had to send its data to a distant data center, get processed there, and then receive a response. That's a lot of travel time for data, isn't it? Well, edge computing is about changing that. Edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm that brings computation and data storage closer to the source of the data. This means, instead of relying on a remote central system, Edge computing uses a network of local micro data centers, each serving its own nearby area. It's like having a mini brain at every intersection, making decisions based on local conditions. So why does this matter? Two words, speed and efficiency. By processing data locally, edge computing significantly reduces the latency or delay between the data source and the processing unit. It's like having a conversation with someone in the same room versus shouting across a football field. The closer you are, the quicker the exchange. Moreover, by keeping data local, we save on bandwidth. Consider our traffic light example. If every traffic light in the city sent its data to a central system, that's a massive amount of data traveling back and forth. But with edge computing, each light handles its own data, reducing the overall data traffic and thereby saving bandwidth. Now, does this mean edge computing replaces traditional cloud computing? Not at all. Instead, it complements it. Edge computing handles real-time, local data processing, while the cloud is still there for heavy-duty tasks and long-term storage. It's like having a team where each player focuses on what they do best. The result? an optimized computing system that's faster, more efficient, and ready to handle the data-driven world we live in. In essence, edge computing is about optimizing computing systems by performing data processing at the edge of the network, near the source of the data. Now that we understand what edge computing is, let's explore why it's making waves in the tech world. One of the most significant advantages of edge computing is its ability to reduce latency. Latency is the time it takes for data to travel from one point to another. In traditional cloud computing, data must travel from the device to a distant data center and then back again. This round trip can cause delays. With edge computing, data is processed closer to where it's created, which reduces the travel time, thereby reducing latency. Imagine you're playing an online video game. The last thing you want is a delay that could mean the difference between victory and defeat. Edge computing brings the game data closer to you, reducing those pesky delays and keeping you in the game. Next up, we have speed. Edge computing can significantly improve the speed of data processing. By processing data closer to the source, Edge computing eliminates the need to send vast amounts of data to a centralized data center. This can lead to faster data analysis and quicker response times. Consider a self-driving car that needs to make split-second decisions. With edge computing, the car can process data on the spot, making those life-saving decisions in real time. Lastly, let's talk about privacy. With edge computing, data can be processed and stored locally which can enhance data privacy and security. For instance, a smart home system using edge computing can process and store all of its data on local servers, reducing the risk of sensitive information being compromised in a large-scale data breach. So, 
Even though edge computing might sound like just another tech jargon, it's much more than that. With its ability to reduce latency, speed up data processing, and enhance privacy, edge computing is a game changer in the realm of technology. As you can see, edge computing is not just a buzzword. It offers tangible benefits that can significantly enhance the performance and efficiency of computing systems. You might be wondering, where is edge computing used? Well, the applications are as diverse as they are revolutionary. Let's begin with Internet of Things or IoT devices. Imagine a smart refrigerator that can not only alert you when you're running low on milk, but can also place an order for you. With edge computing, these devices can process data on site, resulting in real-time responses and enhanced functionality. Next, let's consider autonomous vehicles. These high-tech machines require rapid processing of vast amounts of data, from traffic conditions to navigational information. Edge computing allows these vehicles to make split-second decisions by processing data locally, minimizing latency and potentially saving lives. Now, imagine a city where traffic signals, public transportation and utilities are all interconnected and responsive to real-time conditions. This is the vision of a smart city. By leveraging edge computing, cities can become more efficient, sustainable and livable. For instance, traffic signals can adjust to real-time traffic conditions, reducing congestion and emissions. In the healthcare sector, edge computing can help monitor patients' vital signs in real time, allowing for quicker responses and potentially life-saving interventions. And in the realm of entertainment, consider the potential for immersive, responsive virtual reality experiences made possible by the low latency and high-speed data processing capabilities of edge computing. From autonomous cars to smart cities, edge computing is paving the way for technological advancements that were once thought impossible. So, what have we learned today about edge computing? We've delved into the essence of edge computing, a groundbreaking technology that optimizes efficiency by processing data closer to its source. We've unraveled its numerous benefits, from faster response times to reduced traffic. We've also explored its diverse applications, transforming industries from healthcare to gaming. As we stand on the edge of this technological revolution, I urge you to continue your journey of discovery. Remember, the edge in edge computing is not a physical place, but a way of optimizing efficiency by processing data closer to its source. So, keep exploring and stay tuned for more exciting tech insights.